Hi guys, so I've been working for the last day or so on trying to create a crowd simulation uh, plugin for MV. Uh, my goal is to create a reasonably automated and semi-realistic uh, crowd simulation of, of all non-player characters. So, <clears throat> for example, uh, the thing that led me to this, so I have this map, it's a pretty simple map. Um, you can see that I have two elevators in the bottom and a door over here and then you have a entrance here, this light coming in, this is supposed to be the entrance to the street and then you have a man working behind the desk at the top. So one of the things I'd like to do as the character enters to give the game a little bit more uh, realistic feeling and more immersion is have one or two other NPCs walking around so you know if this was a real a real building then you would expect to see um, some people occasionally walking in the door and walking out the door um, you would also possibly expect them to come up to the desk to get some help or um, hand something in something like that and then leave and then of course you would expect people to be going down to the elevators to get to their rooms. This is an apartment building in my in my game, who stole my bid. Um, you would also expect to see people coming out of the elevators and leaving the building to go to, you know, wherever they're going. So you could code all this manually um, and that would be fine, except that then, you know, every map that you have, um, wherever you want crowds and such, you're going to run into that issue. And I know that in my game, I have another map, uh, which I think I may have loaded um, somewhere. It's basically a, a museum. And I know I'm going to want a similar functionality with the, with the museum map. Um, I don't think I have it loaded. I do have this one here, which is a, this is a university um, complex. So Again, the same thing applies. So this is a pretty big map, but um, I'm going to, like here, for example, maybe outside of this, um, these shops, you want a couple of people hanging around the tables, coming in and going out of the stores, crossing the, crossing the sidewalk, walking here into the main building, you know, just to give depth and, and realism to the game. Uh, so by making a plugin that... Um, can sort of do this or, you know, at least make it um, appear reasonably realistic uh, and take away all that uh, eventing um, is, is, has been my goal. So I've actually put something together. It's still in its early phases, but I'll demo it now. And I will also post this project to um, GitHub so that you can download it, which I'll put in the description. But I'll do a quick demonstration. So the, I've only got it set up on, on this initial map that I was testing with. So here's the map. Um, the way that it works right now, I will eventually turn this into a plugin where you can actually uh, set up all the parameters through the plugin um, options, you know, like this on the side. Um, but for now, you do need to know a little bit of JavaScript if you want this to, to work for you. Um, but honestly, not a lot. So the, the the way that it works is I have the plugin. I've called it Beard Crowd because my game is Who Stole My Beard. But I'll probably rename this and just call it Crowd Simulator or something. So everything um, underneath this line here, uh, I'll just say here, do not edit anything under here. So all this stuff below is the code and you don't care about that. All that matters is this little thing here. So. All this is is a configuration for the map. So map number two is the map ID of the map that I care about. So you would create a structure that looks like this. And I've written some information here about how this works, but it's pretty simple. Um, you just say how many, how many people in the crowd on the map, um, the minimum number that can be on at any given time and then the maximum number. So here I'm saying I need to have at least six. I wanna have at least six people in this in this lobby. And then you just have two things that you care about. You have the spawn region and the target region. So spawn regions are where the characters are going to come from. So that would be, for example, coming out of that elevator, come in, um, in, the, front, in the front entrance. And then target regions are 
where they're going to go to, um, which oftentimes, you know, same thing. So you can have people coming out of the elevator and you can also have people coming into the elevator and the same with the front door. Um, I have in the lobby another target region, which is not somewhere that someone can spawn from, and that is the desk area. So um, if you look at the regions, you do have to set this up with regions to make this work. So I've got all the region fives, by the way, is just where event, where um, where they're not allowed to go to. So that's using the YEP, um, the Anfly event restrict region plugin. But I have three regions basically that this is using. It's using region 21, region 20, and region seven. So 21 is the front door, and that is both a spawn region and a target region. So here you see front door, region 21 in the spawn region, and here elevator, uh, sorry, front door, region 21 in the target region. The same is true for the elevator and the desk, which is region seven, is not a spawn region because it wouldn't make sense if a character was just randomly spawning from this square. But it is a region that they can go to and that adds it even more realism. So initially, when I made this, everyone was just running from the door to the elevator and from the elevator to the door. But I'm like, well, it'd be nice if maybe sometimes they come in and some people go to the elevator and some people go to the desk first and then go to the elevator. Again, add in sort of more realistic behavior. So I added that as a region and this has a special value in it called transition. And what transition means is that um, when it starts, it has a spawn region. So let's say it starts at the door and then it says, okay, the, 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 the plugin randomly says, okay, we're gonna go, this guy's gonna go to the desk. So he goes off to the desk, but then when he gets there, obviously he's done. So the transition flag here, and you only add it for when you need this to happen, it will then say, okay, I've made it. Um, and actually what I also do, cause I want him to sort of talk to this guy behind the desk. So you can say, trigger self switch A when you get to that target region. This is optional, you don't have to do this, but I did it so it popped up a little bubble and then they waited for two seconds and then it, and then after it triggers, then it will, because it's transition, it will then go ahead, the plugin, and find a new place to go. So it smartly says, um, don't go back to here, because that would be, I mean, you could walk in and walk out, say it was a mailman um, delivering parcels, he could walk in here, go here and go back. Uh, for now though, and I'll, I'll improve this plugin over time, um, to allow you to configure these things. But for now, when it's a transition, it won't go back to the starting region. So it comes in, goes here, fires the switch optionally, and then it says, okay, now pick a new region, which in this case will go to the elevator. In another map, um, this, the plugin would work fine. If there was another region down here, for example, it could pick to go to either that one or that one. Um, so that's basically it. Um, that's all it is. And then, um, you have, uh, I guess, two more things to care about is the spawn frequency and the spawn max. So I say I have six at uh, six NPCs walking around the map minimum um, at any given time, but you want them to start coming in naturally. They don't just all spawn at once. So each region can override this and, and configure it independently. So I say here that you can only have three people on the map at any given time that came out of the elevator, and you can only have three events that came out of the, uh, through the front door. And when they do that, they will actually come in on a frequency. So this is pretty frequent every five seconds, but imagine if you set it to every minute on a large map, every now and then someone would come out of a building or someone would go somewhere. So right now I have three, you, you should see these guys will start coming out of the elevator and the door every five seconds until there are three. And then once they get to their destination, if the remove is true, they will hit it and they will disappear, implying that they went through the door or through the elevator. And as soon as that happens, this will reduce this max. So if there were three, now there would only be two. And then the plugin will automatically go ahead and spawn another one. So let's see it running. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, it took a bit of a bit of um, messing about. And you know, if you look online, there's so many uh, so much scientific research has gone into crowd simulations um, and this is absolutely nothing like that. So, you know, this is a real basic, simple implementation of a crowd simulation for RPG Maker. Um, but I did test it with a lot as well. So I actually tested it with... Um,
So I'm going to spawn a lot of uh, a lot of characters now, more than more, you know, more than I would normally. Um, just to show you as well how you know they. I'm using the the orange pathfinder, and you could see there when they bump into each other, which can happen. I was having a lot of problems with this, and then they just get stuck forever. But I was able to uh, fix that so that now, you know, even when these events get pretty congested, which if you're doing a big crowd system, then maybe they would. Um, but now they won't actually bump into each other. So here you go. So they're all coming in and they're going to go to the desk. And so you see how they kind of line up. They, they, they form a queue. So as each guy gets to the desk, he does a little thing, waits a bit, and then moves out. But I thought that was a pretty pretty interesting um, use case. Maybe in your map you have a store or somewhere that someone's lining up to pay, and they'll just keep stacking up here in in line. If I add more and more, then you'll get um, you know even more of them. Will just keep getting stuck in the in the queue. And so the other thing is you'll notice here. So if I save the game, then there were the the guys. If I now restart. It will preserve the the spawned events because what this is doing is you know obviously spawning events onto the map. It will preserve them and it will uh, remember everything about it. So as the game resumes, there they are, where they were when it was left off. So yeah, anyway, I think that's a kind of a cool plugin. I'm definitely going to enhance it. I'm sure that there's a lot more exciting stuff that it can do um, and as I build my game out I'm, I'm sure I'll find more and more features to add uh, so I'll upload that in the description and if you need a similar functionality about this uh, like this for your game um, then go ahead and give it a shot and of course if you have any questions uh, any feature enhancement requests um, or general anything generally you want to know about this plugin then go ahead and um, post in the comments or join me when I'm streaming on Twitch and you can chat to me in the chat and I'll be happy to uh, discuss it, maybe add a new feature if there's something that you really want for your game. So thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. Please click subscribe if you like the channel and join me on twitch.tv where I'm regularly doing indie game development and game playthroughs. You can also check out my previous games and current development efforts on my website over at clear.games.com.